So plants need food just like us. They also require raw materials to allow the building of tissues and as a source of energy, also just like us. The thing about plants is they manufacture everything they need out of the compounds available in the environment. And this is what this lesson is going to be about. Okay, the building up of complex molecules from simpler substances is known as synthesis and requires energy. And the energy is, comes from sunlight when it comes to um, photosynthesis, which is the process which plants use to create uh, sugar and their food source. So we're now going to go onto the surface of the leaf and observe what we can see. Okay, so you notice on the surface of the leaf there are these holes, okay, known as stomata. So the stomata allow gas to diffuse in and out of the cell. And as we continue on with the lesson, we'll learn what those gases actually are. Okay, so now we're going through and seeing the actual cells of the plant. Okay, so as you can see, there are um, organelles moving around, and this organelle in particular is going to be the key to photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis can be described or defined as the basic process by which plants manufacture carbohydrates from raw materials using the energy from light. And the next illustration will show that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got reactions happening. You've got carbon dioxide entering from the atmosphere along with water and sugar being made inside in terms of glucose and oxygen is leaving. Okay, so the word equation for this is carbon dioxide plus water gives. Okay, this sign here is gives. Okay, glucose, which is your source, the plant source of energy, glucose plus oxygen which we as humans use to respire. That's where we get our energy from. Okay. So as we continue along our journey, as we can see from the cells, we need to really focus on the magic that is actually happening in the chloroplasts and how they do that. Okay. So zooming back and looking at the individual cells, we're now going to focus on looking at an individual chloroplast. And here it is here, this green pigment, this green organelle which gives um, the leaf its green colour. If we just cut it in half and have a look inside, you'll notice kind of layers of the pigment known as chlorophyll. So plants can absorb and use light energy because they have this green pigment chlorophyll that is contained in the chloroplasts in some of their cells leaf cells for example. And chlorophyll allows the energy in the sunlight to drive chemical reactions. So in a way what it's doing is converting light energy into chemical energy. So therefore the chloroplasts act as something called an energy transducer, converting light energy into chemical energy. So in summary for this lesson, photosynthesis is the process in which light energy is trapped by the chlorophyll and is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Now, the equations are simplified to show only glucose as the food product, but in fact, plants can make all of their food using um, photosynthesis as the process and also additional chemical processes.